podcast we are coming to you live via facebook streaming youtube streaming and via skype each one of you is welcome to this live streaming from our studios in trinidad the basic question remains in every seeker the basic question remains in every seeker how i can satiate how i can satiate this is the eternal and the basic question that constantly alarms us he wonders what should i gain achieve that i feel satiated he acquires money but not satiation does not come the fulfillment does not come he reaches a high post is still the satiation does not come fame come fame comes no satiation what to talk about getting fulfillment as money status fame increases in the same proportion the turbulence grows as you acquire more and more wealth more and more higher status you feel your inner poverty begins to manifest itself outside you have heaps of wealth prosperity money fame but when you look deep within there is ashes and unfulfillment chaos but because of the outer heaps we overlook and seek the satiation in the outer world as the money increases the poverty in the inner world also increases you have to understand this mathematics clearly the more richness one acquires in the same proportion his awakening his realization of inner poverty increases the more fame he gains he feels within i state that he needs pity he needs some kind of assurance or some kind of energy or something that he can overcome this state and not feel pity you have the crown over your head but you come to know the poverty of the being the poor man is constantly engrossed in his poverty and his hunger and he does not have time even to look for the 
ways and means how to satiate it. One whose inner hunger is over, his inner poverty is reduced, he has time. There is facility somewhat. If you peep, look within, you will find where has he reached, what he has gained, the death is approaching when it will knock at your door nothing can be said but all the inner treasure is lost whatsoever you have gained in life is meaningless these palaces these crowns, these fame, it is the world of the enemies of the man. This is the world of hungry system of the world. If you gain the entire world, what would you Attain. There is a beautiful song in Indian movie Ye Mahalo Ye Takhto Ye Tajo Ki Dunia Ye Mahalo Ye Takhto Ye Tajo Ki Dunia Insa Ke Dushman Samajo Ki Dunia This world is of palaces, stages and crowns these are all enemies this is the congregation of the society that is enemy of man ye insa ke dushman samajo ki duniya ye takto ke bhooke rewazo ki duniya this is ye daulat ke bhooke rewazo ki duniya this is the world of those who are hungry of the traditions of the world ye duniya agar mil bhi jaye to kya hai if i gain this world what will happen but when you gain it you realize that even so you aspire you desire that if i gain the prosperity the status, the money, I will be happy. I recalled when I now came to Trinidad and I started working with a business organization and the salary was very meager. So I asked the managing director, the owner, once there was a conversation he was well respected man in the business world. So I said I cannot continue to work at this salary when I have to meet the basic needs. So he said, he told me I still recall the word, words, if you do not have the money you will not be happy. So I said, you are mistaken. The happiness does not come with the money. Money is a, med is a source to fulfill certain basic needs. Even if the basic needs are fulfilled or, or something more is fulfilled, but the happiness does not come. Happiness is bliss or happiness is an attitude of mind you are mistaken satiation comes in a different way until you gain this 
and you realize the futility of it, nothing happens. When you attain to prosperity, the diamonds, the gold, then you realize that these do not quench your thirst. These do not satiate your hunger. And when these come in your hand, you realize these are nothing more than mere pebbles. But we have given these beautiful names. We have created web around us to deceive us. Every soul is wounded. Every Every body is wounded and every soul is thirsty. There is conflict in your vision, in your eyes. There is sadness in the heart. Is this really the world of harmony or disharmony? If I gain this world, what will happen? But people are asleep, they are unconscious, they are sleepwalkers. They do not know why they are moving, where are they going, for what they are going. Who is there? Nothing is known. And all are constantly moving, following the crowd. The crowd is moving in one direction. Everyone is moving in that direction in the hope that certainly the crowd must be going in the right direction. When so many people are going in this direction, the father, the mother, the parents and everyone goes in that direction, then and, and generation after generation we are all going to the temples, to the churches, to the religious places. So that means that should be the highway. But nobody realizes that even on the, this highway there is nothing else but empty graves. These do not carry you anywhere except they lead you to the cremation ground, to the burial ground. We run behind love but do not understand what is this. That which we call love cannot be really love because until love flowers out of meditation it is not love. Love is the shadow or the fragrance of meditation. The Inner satiation comes when you begin to connect yourself with your inner being. Can you make a real connection with children, with parents, with husband, with wife, with mother, with son? With whom will you relate? Is still the first basic relation has not yet complete, that chapter is not complete. You have not started climbing, you have not reached to the first step. Meditation is the first step. The introspection is the beginning of the journey of meditation. What does meditation mean? Does meditation mean sitting down for certain hours or reading the scriptures or concentrating on this or that? Certainly not. Meditation is the process to establish a relationship with you. How you relate with yourself, how you understand your various aspects 
your mind, ego sense, identities, memory, how you are connected to these meditation really means beginning to understand yourself and beginning to love yourself. Unless you have attained this oneness with yourself, there is one of the beautiful hadith says, Man arfa nafsahu arfa rabbahu One who has known himself, he has known Allah. Man arfa nafsahu arra Man arfa nafsahu arfa rabbahu One who has known himself, he has known the Rabb. Only then you realize you can connect to the others. First through the meditation you connect to yourself. The spring of love, unless it springs deep within, it cannot spread its fragrance and beauty in the outer world. You are poor within because you have not yet established the connection within. One who dives deep in the inner ocean of the being, he realizes that nothing else, there is nothing else beyond that. I am the wave of the ocean. He realizes that where I have dived, He realizes that I do not exist, it is the ocean that exists. Drop merges in the ocean. Drop cannot say that I still exist. The moment the drop dives in the ocean, it loses its identity. Meditation is losing that I exist as an individual. Meditation means I exist as totality, as synergistic harmony. I do not exist as identity alone. I do not exist as memory alone. I do not exist as intellect alone. I am the harmony within. And then, and love blossoms with new fragrance, with new beauty. This is your spontaneity. You cannot call it love. This is your spontaneity, a state of inner bliss. This is the inner awakening, inner blossoming and unless this happens and you experience this, your inner poverty will not vanish, it will continue. As long as you think that I am, as long as the drop thinks that it is, it remains turbulent. The river moves all around the trees, it soaps along its path. But when it reaches the shore, it is still feels turbulent. But there is a great urge to merge in the ocean with hesitation. It cannot resist itself from dissolving in the ocean. And then it loses its identity, attains to fana. The moment this dissolution happens, ocean as if it is waiting with open arms 
to welcome the drop and the drop is transformed. The inner satiation comes. The journey of lives is fulfilled in a moment. In a moment, but for this moment, lives and lives have passed. Nothing happened. This, he realizes this house, this shop, this temple, this money, this status. This is simply an extension of ego sense. Nafs. And Sufis have given explained seven stages of nafs, explaining the entire edifice of nafs. And when you dissolve within, in the vastness of the inner ocean, First, the dissolution has to happen within. When we talk about fana, what does this really mean? Fana means dissolving in the inner ocean of the being. And Master represents that because it is very difficult to, dis to decipher to drown in your own inner ocean of the being. So you use, the master becomes the replica of that. So you see in him the harmony, the oneness, the awakening has happened to him. So it becomes easier for you to dissolve into him. But the same thing can happen if you dissolve into your own inner ocean of bliss. That is the inner master. Because you have not yet discovered that, you need the outer master. The first experience comes of the innerness. And he realizes that I am... That is what Shankar says in Atma Shatkam. The composition of Atma, the being, Nirvana, and that is awakening. Realization of the inner treasure is awakening. Realization of the inner treasures and discovering that is awakening, is that enlightenment. All that I have been seeking outside and fail to recognize, fail to gain, when I turn within, I found it there. This is awakening, this is enlightenment. <clears throat> and this first experience of love comes within. And in the light of the Master, in the fragrance of his being, you for the first time realize, experience love within. You think that it is happening because of him, because of the master. No, it is not. Master is simply catalyst. He creates an environment for you to drown into your own being and experiences within. He just remains as a presence so that you do not sow. The moment you, he finds that you are sowing, he pulls you and only then you can experience the satiation within. You will realize that you have the ego vanished. Ego is the only disease. The more egoistic you are, the more turbulent the life begins. The life becomes the more you have to suffer, the more wounds you gain. As the ego vanishes, the nafs begins to dissolve. So what does the Sufi masters do? Through tawajjo, through their own 
messages slowly and slowly they hammer the various layers of nafs various layers of ego sense then there comes a beautiful story in the life of buddha every morning will buddha will get up he will get dressed put on his cloak take the wood take the begging bowl and the stick and move in a particular direction this particular morning he reached to a village where he was not destined was not planned to reach on reaching there a crowd gathered from amidst the crowd a man came he first abused buddha buddha paid no attention concern continued but had you been there what would have happened tell tell you what had happened at that moment then he spit on buddha and said whatever he has to say when all that was in his reservoir finished buddha asked him do you have still anything else to say say it now because who knows when you will get an opportunity again so anand said buddha what kind of thing is this you are such an innocent person you have not harmed anyone and this man abused you you said nothing he spit on you you said nothing and stood you said that if he still has anything else to say please do so buddha said anand this man has not said anything to you or do did anything to you what why are you opening an account with him and when you have to repay you will never know do you know why i have come to this village i have come to this village simply because of this person through my own awakening understanding through the light i have tried to open all my open accounts just as when you want to free yourself from the bank you go to the bank and officer and ask him to give you the total amount of money you owe him go to the bank the bank says it will take time for me to go through the entire records and then i'll be able to tell you then after some time you get a call from the bank that the figures have been worked out so in the same way on a day to day basis we go on opening the accounts with others we are going on the road somebody gives you a bad drive you say something it is natural and you consider it is normal life but in reality you have opened an account with that man if you had closed that account then you would not say anything the man has given you a bad ride you just overlook and say thank you and move or even that thanks is not necessary buddha what he did he simply allowed the person to say what he has to say do what he had to do he told anand why are you opening an account with him when he has not done anything to you we have so many mr unnecessary all around us they will come and keep on giving you their own advice although it has not been sought the moment you experience the innerness life moves in a different way drop by drop different layers of aham different layers of nafs begins to dissolve and you experience your inner depth 
because of this nafs your life is nothing else but flames that is constantly burning you you are not getting any solace you are not getting any solace anywhere and you are not beginning no way you are attaining to serenity you are not able to experience bliss you are your own you are the cause of your own a state that you find yourself in the hellish state unless you experience your own innerness you dissolve in the inner ocean of the being the satiation does not come you may gain so any amount of money prosperity status house this and that and no satiation comes unless you dissolve into your own inner ocean of the being only this much for this morning until we meet again take care and do have a pleasant day